Hello and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Alicia. I am currently about 19 and a half weeks pregnant with baby number three. I thought today I would take you on a little tour of our nursery. It's pretty small. I don't have a lot in here. I don't plan to have much. It's gonna be on the minimal side. Um, kind of a bohemian neutral theme. We do not know the gender of our baby, so everything will stay very neutral. Um, and I just prefer those earthy neutral tones anyways. So, all right, I'll pick you guys up and let's go. So we'll start with our crib. We really debated on what type of crib to get for some time. And then both agreed we wanted just a very neutral, um, natural wood. So we went with this baby Leto. I love the mid-century modern slanted feet on it. It does convert to a toddler bed. The wood tone is just beautiful. I do plan to get some, probably some custom um, bumper like for the top so baby doesn't chew that up because um, that's one thing I've learned with this being the third baby is that they like to chew. Um, and then I picked out this bedding. Um, the brand is, what is that called? Goimu Kids. I'm sure I totally pronounced that wrong, but anyway, I found this set and I absolutely love the neutral earthy tones with the greenery on it. This was a three piece set as we have the crib blanket, the fitted sheet, and we also have a changing table sheet, but I don't have um, a changing table pad or anything that any of that set up yet. This is actually quite heavy. And then it's just cream on the underside. We'll be able to use this for a long time as baby won't really grow out of it. So I plan to use it even as a toddler after we convert the bed. And then um, I did get a four moms mamaru. I know this is like a hit or miss um, item for babies, but, uh, and it's kind of a splurge, but I really love how small it is. It's super light, so I can pick it up and bring it anywhere in the house, um, bring it in, use it as like a bouncer essentially, bring it in the bathroom even, because it's so small. Um, I love that I can control it from my phone too, so that's nice. I hope the baby loves it. Both of my boys loved swings, so I hope this one is enough. Um, I know for some people they say the baby doesn't get quite enough momentum with it and, and so it doesn't soothe them as well. So we'll see how it goes. And then we also picked out our stroller and car seat. We had to buy these separately. Um, they do not come as a set. I really wanted the Britax G3. This can be a two, um, a double stroller if you want it to be, so it converts. But um, it's like a stain resistant material. The handle adjusts for really short or really tall people, which is great for my husband. He's 6'4", so that'll be nice. It has a gigantic basket, which was a must have for me. Um, really big wheels, so I can, these are actually about a foot wide. I can push this around the yard if I need to, so I love that as well. The Britex car seat. That is our bassinet that we don't have set up yet, but hopefully soon. Um, I wanna finish the dresser first. So here is the dresser. This thing is old. It was my husband's grandma. She recently passed away. So um, we wanted to redo this one and um, keep it for the baby as a way to keep her around. I love the feet on it. They're very mid-century, just super neat. So it's kind of in rough shape right now but I'm gonna redo it all. Um, it's got a lot of repair work on it, a lot of priming, and then I'm gonna paint it. So if you're interested in seeing that project, uh, check out my Instagram. That's where I share all my DIYs when I do them. And then it also has a mirror, so that's why it has those wood boards sticking up. Then over here we have a pocket door closet. This is kind of where everything is right now because I can't use the dresser yet. So everything is hung or stashed in here. It's kind of a mess, it's bothering me. Um, I'm a very organized person, so 
Can't wait to use the dresser. <laughs> Here are all of our cloth diapers. We have a pretty good stash. Um, we do plan to cloth a baby, obviously, for the most part. So lots of um, smart bottoms, lighthouse kids. These are like newborn size, so they're tiny and super cute. Love those. My mom got us this bath seat. Um, so that's one thing I used to have, like the traditional little uh, infant bath with the sling. I had that with both my boys. I did not love that style, so I'm excited to try this one because it'll fit right in our big farmhouse sink. So I think that'll be super convenient and it'll be fast to dry. And then we have some clothes. I don't have a lot yet. Um, sorry guys, I am so out of breath. <laughs> Pregnancy. Uh, so I have zero to three here. This is newborn. And then zero to three here, three to six, six to nine. I have bought mostly neutral. I do have, I am getting more girl stuff kind of trickled in there just because I found like really good deals and stuff I thought was super cute. I have a few boy things, but um, the plan is kind of to buy both and then whatever gender we don't have, <laughs> we will just resell. So we are not finding out what we're having. So we kind of have to prepare for both as much as I can. Um, but mostly neutral items, and I do love neutral anyways, so that's really not a problem. But lots of cute, lots of Kate Quinn, because I love Kate Quinn. So this is a super cute little play mat for the baby. We have wood and tile floors, so it'll be nice to have that. We recently did buy a huge rug for our living room. That'll help, too. It is girly, but it was a really good deal. I got on that one as well. And then um, I have changing table stuff. That'll get moved eventually. That's in here. Laundry soap stuff. Headpans, because they were like a buck. Um, some pants. Moslin. Um, swaddles, mostly up here and then bottles. I do plan to breastfeed, but um, obviously you still need bottles too. So all those things. And then um, in this corner, I do plan to get a recliner or some kind of chair and have a table set up for like a pump station is my plan eventually. So obviously I'll be moving this stuff, but this is not a huge room. It is fairly small, so I do want to keep it minimal because I don't want it to be super crowded in here. So recliner over here um, with a like a side table, and then I want to get a rug, and I'm definitely getting some greenery for this room as well. So I might do um, a hanging plant back here behind the crib, like far back so in case it were to fall it would not fall on baby because I do have a pretty big gap there between the crib and the wall. So I'm debating that and that would be like a macrame. And then we'll see if I like this mirror. I think the mirror could make the space look a little larger which I would like. Um, but if I end up not using the mirror I'll take those boards off and then I'll probably do shelving with some greenery and different things on the shelving back here. So the drawers, obviously clothes and things in them, diapering essentials. I plan to have a um, changing pad here. Might do some kind of boho basket with a pad. And then um, baby, you know, diaper changing supplies and things on this end. So it's nice that it's nice and long. That'll be helpful. Um, and then our wash tub for diapers is just across the hall in our laundry room. So that'll be convenient too. But once I get this finished, I might, here's some of my junk, I might um, get different baskets for organizing these drawers. And I might even line these with a paper. So we'll see, like a contact paper. But they kind of get deeper as you go down. So plenty of storage for baby. I'm excited to tackle this next week. So check out my Instagram if you wanna see that whole process. It will probably take me a while, so that's for my week off.
Okay, so that's about all we have for now. Um, we got a ways to go, but we have some time. We did paint this whole room. Um, it's like a light cream, as you can see. So that's done, but nothing on the walls yet. I probably won't put a whole lot on them. I do just really want to keep it minimal and not um, have too many things going on in this room. So that is the plan. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Definitely check out some of my other videos I have for first trimester must-haves. Um, and then also our our story, our backstory um, as far as trying to conceive um, and all of our miscarriages we have gone through getting to this point. So it's a very exciting time for us. Um, it's been a couple years getting here. So very excited for everything that's to come. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. I'll see you next time.